All right. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, my name is Trey Sykes. I'm the owner of Camwood Bats. I'm sure a lot of you have seen a lot of the videos in the story of how I became, uh, went from a 180 hitter to an All-American. But I wanted to come in and bring Wes on. Obviously, Wes played 12 years in the majors. And I thought it would be very valuable for our audience and for you to learn from a guy like Wes who played 12 years and was able to get to that level and maintain at that level, which is one of the hardest things to do. So, Wes, if you want to introduce yourself. So, like you said, I'm Wes Helm, CEO. Um, I played 12 years in major leagues, probably about 17 total professional uh, years with uh, minor leagues included. Um, you know, it's a passion for me to give back to – the younger generation now of baseball players and of course softball players as well um but you know the biggest thing with me is is like i want to teach what relates to the game i, I don't i don't want to make guys or girls cage hitters i don't want to make them practice players i want them to be the best they can be in the game so therefore that's where you know trey and i hit it off really well because cam was all about development i'm all about development and I want to teach, along with Trey, the proper way to do things at the highest level. Because if you can do them at the highest level, of course, you're going to be learning the right way as you as you move up the ranks uh, as you get older. And since I started Camwood, what has been about four years now? Yes. Since I took over Camwood, um, you know, I've been able to get into the cage and do a bunch of hitting sessions with MLB players, and I've been fortunate enough to be able to do that. But that's not where my story started. So my junior year in high school, I hit 180 as a junior in high school, okay? So, you know, 180 is not a very good batting average. I was not getting nope. scouted by other colleges or nothing. I was I was actually a backup first baseman at the time. And um, I knew I only had one season left, right? I had my senior season and that was it. So, you know, I decided to put all of my effort into seeing how good I can get and see if I can improve that senior season. So one day after practice, went out to the cages and me and my buddy were just sitting there hitting and I'm just yanking and pulling everything. At the time, dead pull hitter. You could put literally no defenders on the right side of the field. I'm not hitting it to that side. And that's what a lot of players are right now, right? They're trying to pull everything to try to get that power. And I was the exact same way. So as I'm hitting in the cage, some random guy walks up behind me. Never seen this guy day before in my life. And I'm hitting, and he literally just stops and says, hey, why don't you try to hit the ball to the opposite field? And, and you know, me being who I am, I tried to prove him wrong. And I tried to hit the ball to the opposite field, and I couldn't do it. So after that round was over, I stepped out of the cage, and he pulled me to the side. And he said, hey, if you come back tomorrow and you put that effort in, I will teach you how to hit. And I literally – I had no clue who this guy was. Never saw him a day in my life. But I literally just got done hitting 180, so I really didn't have anything to lose. So I showed up the next day. We started working together, and he had me training with this weird, funky-looking bat. And we started going through drills, and he was actually teaching me his hitting program. And just two weeks after I started working with this guy, I ended up hitting my very first high school home run. So already in just two short weeks, I started seeing those results. And I knew that if I wanted to you know, try to play at the next level, this is the process that I needed to stick to. So uh, that offseason, going into my senior year, we worked together a good bit. And uh, my senior season ended up hitting over 300 for the first time ever. And then two seasons later was a Division One All-American. So I literally went from a 180 batting average my junior year in high school to a Division One All-American in just three seasons after I started training with the Camwood bat here and after I learned the number one key to hitting. A lot of people ask me, well, what did Frank teach you in order to help you become that better hitter and that better player? So that's one of the main things that we're going to cover today. So – Wes, you played 12 years in the major leagues, right? You played with a ton of really good players, Hall of Famers. What does every single player and every good hitter that you play with have in common? They all stay inside the baseball, every yep. single one of them. They stay inside the ball, and they create backspin. Every yep. single one of them understand how to stay inside the ball and create backspin. All, all right, right, real question. quick, we got a question. How did you get an offer? I did not get an offer. I actually paid somebody. <laughs> Actually, I paid the school. <laughs> so I, uh, I actually walked on at a junior college uh, my first year playing. Um, and I ended up being all conference there at my junior college. My first season there hit like 380 with five homers. Um, and then after that first season at my junior college, I got a division one offer to Savannah State. So um, 
obviously I was a walk on at first, but I played my way into a scholarship later in my career. You hear that? Walk on. Yep. Guess who else is a walk on? Probably the number one pick this year in the MLB draft from Georgia, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Charlie, Con how you say his last name? Condon. Yep. He walked on. He's probably going to be the number one pick in the draft this year. So that just shows you. And I want to say this real quick. You heard Trey say it took three years, three years from the time he was a 180 hitter to get to that. It's a process. It does not happen overnight. It don't matter if you do the Camwood program, if you use the hands and speed, it's not going to happen overnight. So therefore, these guys like Trey, Charlie, that went from a certain level of player to this status, it took Trey three years. It's taken Charlie three years to get to that point. So understand, it, it is a process. It is. That's the thing, even if you are a walk-on, you might be getting overlooked. That's just where you have to put in that extra effort and that extra work, and that's exactly what I did. I went to my junior college as a walk-on. I was the third-string first baseman when I got there. And that fall season, I worked my way up to the starter, ended up becoming all-conference after that. And that's because I put the work in. I didn't just hope and pray that it worked. I actually went out there and did the work to make sure that it happened. So when I got my opportunity, I was ready. And – the main way that I was ready is I learned how to stay inside the ball, right? With so, a proper routine. Correct. Yes. So a lot of people hear that term, stay inside the ball, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone's heard that before, but you probably don't understand why you want to stay inside the ball. So that's what I'm going to go over right now with this demonstration right here, okay? So this is our three ball setup. This is emulating a fastball coming into the zone, okay? So it's going to be on a slight downhill angle, okay? So most players today, they're trying to generate power. So they're trying to pull everything, right? So say I'm trying to hit this middle pitch right here. If I try to pull this middle pitch, look what happens. I got to come out away from my body to come around and try to pull this pitch. Well, what happens if I'm a little bit late? I get jammed. If I'm perfectly on time, I can make contact with that. I can have some success. But if I'm just a little bit out front, I'm hitting that ball off the end of the bat and I'm getting weak contact every single time, okay? And here's where staying inside the ball is going to help you become a better hitter. Because if I'm focused on just hitting this middle pitch, just like before, and I'm going to focus on staying inside this middle ball, boom, I'm inside that right now. Look what happens if I'm a little bit late. I can still barrel that up and shoot it to the opposite field, jittering the ball, right? If I'm perfectly on time, I'm smoking that right back up the middle. And if I'm just a little bit out front, I'm still able to barrel that ball up and drive it to the left center field gap, okay? So if there's one thing that you take away from this, from staying inside the ball, it's going to prolong and lengthen the amount of time the sweet spot of my bat is in the hitting zone, okay? So my timing doesn't have to be perfect in order for me to barrel that ball up. Because if I ask you or your player right now, how often are you perfectly on time? Wes, how often are you perfectly on time? I would say on average around 10%. That's at the big league level, and that's with the best hitters in the game. At probably 10%, you're going to be on time on this pitch every single yep. time. So if you're perfectly on time, just 10%. The other 90% is going to be from here to here correct. or here to here. So. so if you're constantly trying to pull everything yes. and you're only on time 10% of the time, you're only barreling the ball up around 10%. I call the them cube hitters. Um, a cube hitter, basically, if you look at a box, probably you know a little bigger than a baseball, that's called a cube. It's a small cube. Yep. That happens when you try to pull everything. If you're perfectly on time and you try to pull, try to pull, yeah, you're going to run into balls, which, again, I call those run into hitters. They're going to run into balls every once in a while, but they're not consistent. If you stay inside this and don't try to pull it, you naturally pull it with good extension at the contact point, then you're going to be able to barrel this ball, this ball, and this ball. So now my cube just got bigger. You're able to make adjustments, which you'll hear me say that over and over, adjustability. Great hitters have adjustability. They don't hit the ball in one spot every single time. They can adjust. you know how many different contact points there are in a uh, strike zone, hundreds and hundreds of contact points. You've got to be able to make adjustments in swing. When what I mean, you don't change your mechanics late, on time, out front. That's the adjustment. And the only way you can do that is staying inside the ball. Kind of going back into 
talking about how, you know, you're perfectly on time, just 10% yes. of your at-bats, right? So everyone always says hitting is about timing, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're perfectly on time, just 10% of the time, hitting isn't about what you do when you're perfectly on time. Hitting is about what you do when your timing is just off. Yes. It's whenever you're just late or you're just a bit out front. And that's where staying inside the ball is so important because if you're inside that pitch, your timing doesn't have to be perfect in order for you to still barrel the ball up and have some success. That's why you see a bunch of dead pool hitters. They're 210, 220 hitters because the sweet spot of their bat is in the zone and straight out right away. They don't stay – their sweet spot doesn't stay in the hitting zone th all the way throughout um, extension, okay? So I hope that makes sense, the importance of why you want mm -hmm. to stay inside the ball. And – one of the ways that I learned how to stay inside the ball from a bat path perspective is training with the Camwood Hands and Speed Trainer, okay? So I'm sure a lot of you have seen this bat before. This is the Camwood Hands and Speed Trainer, and the reason I train with this to teach bat path is because my hands are right above, or the uh, added weight on the bat is right above my hands, okay? So whenever I go to start my swing, this added weight above the hands is going to promote me getting connected first and letting my hands stay inside the ball, which is going to lengthen the amount of time the sweet spot of my bats in the hitting zone, okay? So that's why when we do our programs, we're always training with this Camwood Hand and Speed Trainer here because it's going to teach you that proper bat path of how to stay inside the ball, okay? And that's why this tool right here is so important to have inside of your training regimen. So, we talked about the hand path and the bat path of staying inside the ball. There's also another really key component to staying inside, and that's your lower half. And this is where I see a lot of players, especially the youth in the high school, they have no idea how to properly use that lower half. And that's what's causing their bat to come in and out of the zone, be that dead pool hitter, be that cube hitter like you're talking about. So, Wes, if you want to talk about lower half, how yes. to properly use it. So basically – what Trey and I see across the board when we go to these youth events, you know, that we've kind of partnered with these organizations. We go watch young players play high school down. Um, the biggest thing we see personally, is they don't understand how to use their legs. All right, you got to get grounded to hit. All right, hitting starts from the ground up. All right, you got to get properly grounded before waist up even thinks about working the right way. So Trey always talks about, you know, stay inside the, uh, the ball with your hands, which is true. You want to stay inside. But to do that, you have to have all this working the correct way to be able to control this thing, all right? Because it's like building a house. You're not going to put the roof on before the foundation. The foundation is going to go be built before you, you, know, you build up to the roof. No, no different than, than anything in sports. It doesn't matter if it's basketball, football, baseball, whatever. Your legs, waist down, are the first thing that does anything to get you ready. So, therefore, you know, for me, yes. You know, when you look at staying inside the ball, you always see this motion. That is true. All that's doing is getting you connected. But you can't get connected if you're not in the proper load. All right. So what I'm seeing across the board, basically, it's getting worse and worse and worse. It used to be minimum. Now I'm seeing it to where 60, 70 percent of these kids at these events, this is all they're doing. Now, let me let me just kind of backtrack. Do you know what I blame for that? I blame Showcase Baseball because hitters are wanting to go out there and max effort swing everything and try to put on a show for the college recruiters or the pro scouts and they're trying to get their exit velocities up and they're not strong enough to do that so what do they do they're trying to max effort swing look what my legs did i pulled off the ball first thing didn't even think about it because my mindset was swing the bat as hard as i could that to me is what has changed a lot of the kids not understanding the proper way to use the lower half so when i use my lower half you want to do it from the, the perfect, the perfect, the first thing I'm going to do, you know, when I think is I got to engage my back hip. All right. So I have got to engage my back hip on my load. And what I mean by that is I don't want to go back and forth. I'm not going back and forth. You always hear go back to load. That is far from the truth. All you're doing is engaging this from here to here. If your thought process and you hear sometimes pinch a credit card, I'm going to pinch a credit card right there. Look, I didn't go back. Watch my head. I'm loaded. I can now hit. If you look at my leg, this is not loading. So, therefore, my first move to get into my legs is here. Boom. I'm going to right there. I'm engaged. 
My butt pushes back a little bit. It's a slight turn, but it's a natural turn. I'm not turning into my pinch here. All right. Next thing is separation right there. I'm going to walk away from my hands and my front foot, but I'm not going to turn to get that stretch and separation. I'm going to load here. Now I'm ready to fire. Now this is where the separation helps us stay inside the ball when we think elbow, knob, and now our rotation of the knee drive, the back hip, to the elbow, to the knob is going to stay inside the ball. So if I go from here and I think hands first, I'm gonna do that. It's called a push. We don't wanna do that. I wanna go there. Now, look, all I gotta do now, I start my turn. I'm here. I'm inside every single pitch because I'm in my legs. If I do this, if I start it with my shoulder or I open my front hip, like you see a lot of kids doing now, now, when I get to the ball, I'm going to be like this. I want my back that way. I do not want it this way. So that's why it's so important for the legs to be where they need to be for this to do what it's supposed to do. So understand, start ground up when you're teaching hitting, when you're working with kids at any level. This is your stability. This starts the process. And then this delivers it. But it's delivered with that inside the ball approach. And that's the thing. A lot of people don't understand that the sequence of the swing. OK, obviously, we talk about hands a lot. OK, but to start the swing, your lower half must fire first. OK, because the lower half is what's going to get your body and get your hands in a position to allow the hands to work inside the ball. All right. And where you see that problem the most of players not getting their lower half there properly and not engaging it the right way is on the inside pitch. They get jammed and they roll over a lot, right? It's because they're not getting into that back hip. They're not getting the proper rotation first to allow the hands to work inside that inside pitch. If you can learn that proper sequence of firing the back hip first, get the lower half involved, and then the hands follow, you will stay inside the ball a lot more consistently, all right? And you'll start barreling that inside fastball into the gap with backspin like you're supposed to, all right? So I just saw pinching the credit card was a good visual. Yeah. So I want to kind of hit on that. Uh, young players, young kids are visual learners. All right. We can tell them something, but if we don't show them, so understand that we can tell them how to do it. If we can't show them, they won't learn how they're supposed to. So make sure, you know, whenever your son or daughter is working that someone is telling them how to do it and showing them how to do it. Because, you know, we'd always have coaches say, you know, hey, stay inside the ball and hit the other way. Well, how do I do that? I mean, yeah. you know, not everybody knows how. But going back to that, pinching the credit card is a good visual. You know, you just – that's all you do. That's a load. That's a load. This is not a load. Okay? And let me just kind of say this for the next question. When I do this, that enables me – to start this process, see this, my elbow, my back knee, and then the hip and the knob, I'm in connection. Now it becomes a tight turn. Hitting is linear and then becomes rotational, but the rotation part is done the correct way. I'm not forcing rotation with my front side and my front shoulder. I'm hitting against my front side with proper rotation right here. And that's a good point is a lot of players now, especially with the new way yes. of hitting, they think they have to rotate off with their upper half. Yes. And that's not true. The upper half is going to rotate in the swing, but it's going to happen naturally, right? So this front shoulder is going to naturally open up as my lower half gets that rotation, all yep. right? We're not forcing the rotation with the upper half. The lower half is going to provide that for you. Exactly. Okay? And if you're thinking of pulling off with this front or with the upper body with this front shoulder – well, now your bat's going to be in the zone and straight out of the zone right away. And that's well, exactly actually, and your seeing. bat speed is going to suffer. We call it bat lag. Your yep. bat's actually going to lag and not pop through the zone. Yep. I don't like to use the word snap. I used to like to use the word pop. So when I get to this point here and my eyes decide where the pitch is and it tells my barrel where to go, which that's true, the eyes tell the barrel where to go, here I pop. My bat now just pops through the zone. If you start everything here, 
it's going to lag through the zone. Like I said, if you're on time perfectly every time, that's going to work, but nobody's perfectly on time every time. Yep. All right, so we've covered a lot about staying inside the ball, right? And now you understand the key to being a successful hitter is staying inside the ball, all right? But you might be thinking, well, how do I do that? You know, what drills can I do that is going to make that happen, right? So you're thinking to yourself, well, how can I teach myself or how can I teach my child this? So in a little bit, I'm going to show you how you can get the drills and how you can create a plan for free, okay? I'll give you access to it where you can create your own plan and you can do it yourself and you'll see good results, all right? But first, I want to talk about how important it is for you to have a plan the moment you step in a cage, okay? Because if you get into a cage and you don't have a plan, you're just swinging, you're just hitting. You might be in there an hour, hour and a half, and you walk away not working on anything, and you didn't get better that day, right? So you want to step in and have a plan every single time you step into the cage. And the way that I figured this out myself is, you know, I was always a bigger kid, right? I was always the, on the fat side, always had a hard time losing weight, right? And I tried everything. I tried all these different diets. I worked out like Wes is working out right now. And, um, you know, I just never could get the weight off until the moment that I found a 90 day strength program that I followed that showed me, OK, you do this workout for this many reps. This is all you do for this day. It was a detailed plan. It was simple to follow. And I just went there. OK, I'm on day number three. I walked into the gym that day with a plan. I've executed that plan and I got out of the gym. And 90 days later, I lost 30 pounds. OK. <laughs> So me having that plan is what allowed me to get where I wanted to achieve my goal. So that worked for me to lose weight. So I'm like, okay, well, what if I implemented that into my hitting routine? What if I created a hitting plan every day where when I stepped foot into that cage, I knew exactly how many reps I was taking. I knew what drills I was doing and I knew what I wanted to work on to get better at that day. And the moment that I did that is the moment that I got to my junior college after uh, walking on in college. I had a plan every single day, follow those drills. And before you knew it, I was all conference, right? And the reason that I was uh, prepared for that opportunity when it came, it's because of my game plan. It was because the preparation that I put into the cage, I was consistently getting better at my craft. And it's because I had a plan. So real quick, I'm going to hop in on the computer and I'm going to show you how to get to the drills for free. And you can have access to drills to where you can create your plan. All right. You, you should be able to see my screen right now. And we just created recently a Camwood app, okay? So you can go to your app store, you can download the Camwood app on your phone, and you're gonna get access to the Coach's Guide to Hitting, and you're gonna get access to the five-day perfect swing blueprint absolutely free, okay? So if you click on the Coach's Guide to Hitting, you see right here, it has the drills, all right? All you have to do is click on the drill. You have your, your hands drills teaching you to stay inside the ball, and you have your lower half drills teaching you the proper way to use your lower half, okay? So you can go in there, you have access to the drills, and you can create your plan, okay? The importance of having a plan, I can't express that enough. So you can see how easy it is just to access those drills right inside the app. Go to the App Store, download the Camelot app, you get access to it for free right there, okay? Wes, do you want to hit on kind of the importance of having a plan? I know, obviously, you playing 12 years in the majors, you had – a plan every time you step foot into a cage? So that's a really good question, Tracer. For me, you know, you don't ever get in the cage and just swing the bat. You don't ever go to the infield and just take ground balls. You don't ever take fly balls. You don't ever throw a bullpen and just throw the ball. There's always got to be a plan and a purpose. I always say have a purpose behind everything you do. The biggest reason is you got to build that muscle memory. Um, if we just swing and swing and swing, you know, be like, you know, hey, I did this drill and this drill today. And the first thing I ask is how did you do that? Or how many reps did you do? How many reps did you do the right way? How many reps did you do when you're getting tired, when your mechanics were suffering? So you got to have a routine and a plan, and you need to kind of track that because, you know, for me, I had a routine in the big leagues. You know, I'd go in there and start off the tee away and then maybe try to put it, you know, middle end at the end just to kind of fill it. And then I'd go into short toss. Um, some guys in the big leagues just do the tee. Some guys do not like the tee in the big leagues. They go just to short toss, which is fine. Um, you know, to me, the tee sometimes can – create that diving in approach on young hitters. So be really, really careful with that. But having a routine, if you watch any great athlete, they've had a routine. It can be Usain Bolt in sprinting. He's had a routine. 
leading up to the Olympics. He stays on that routine. I stayed on my routine. Derek Jeter said it perfect. Guy loves playing against that guy. Loves playing against that guy just because the way he handled himself, but the way he prepared. He said for 20 plus years in the big leagues, I stuck to my routine every day, no matter if I was four for four or 0 for four, or if I was hitting 300 or hitting 230 to start the season. He goes, I could have started the season hitting 220 for the first three weeks. I stuck to the same routine because I knew that worked for me. Okay, he said, I knew this game was hard. I was gonna have my ups and downs, but I never veered off my routine. And that set with me like, my gosh, that's true. Like. So many hitters, when they're going good, they just go away from their routine and then they go in a slump and they go back in there and get to the routine again. It should be a consistent routine across the board, no matter if you're going good or bad. The only thing I could say is, you know, like Jeter even said it, he might have backed off the reps when he started getting tired later in the season. Of course, 162 games, you know, you need to do that. But high school baseball and stuff, you probably don't need to do that. Stick to the same routine. I promise you that's going to be more beneficial than if you don't have a routine. So now, now that you understand, obviously, that you need a routine to follow because it's going to help you maximize your results. Okay, you just got to – you download the Camwood app. You get the drills for free. Okay, you start doing the drills, right? All right, well, how do I know if I'm doing the drills correctly, right? So, as you know, virtual uh, hitting lessons and virtual coaching is really high right now, right? Because everyone wants to do everything online, especially after COVID. So – Whenever I was in high school, I worked with my hitting coach, Frank Gregory. He's the one that would work with me in person all the time, teaching me these mechanics. Well, whenever I went off to college, Frank couldn't come with me, right? So I, ha I was in college by myself, so I didn't have my hitting coach. So what I had to do to make sure that I was still progressing and still doing the drills correctly is I would go to our hitting cage, which was in a barn. It was actually in the top of a red barn, ironically enough, get extremely hot in there. But um, I'd go into the barn. I would grab my phone, I would put it on a tripod, and I would press record. And I would do my drills, I would end the recording, and I would send it to Frank, okay? And Frank would be able to look at the video. He would say, hey, you need to work on this, this, and this. I'm able to go in and make that adjustment and keep making progress, okay? That's what allowed me to become that All-American. It's because I had access to a coach that knew what he was talking about, for one, but two, was able to see the videos of me hitting on his phone and able to make those simple and easy critiques. All right. So again, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to show you inside the Camwood app. This is going to be a place that you can access the Camwood community. Okay. So here, boom, we're inside the app. You have your programs. You click on the little community tab. All right. You click on that community tab. You'll come to this page here. You'll see Camwood community. You click on that. You can click on general chat baseball. And you can see people are answering or asking questions, posting videos right here, and you can access the Camwood community, okay? So you can get tips and tricks right here inside of this app, everything that you need to become a better player on your own, okay? So, Wes, I actually do want to talk about that for a sec, too, because one of the main things, okay, I was a junior in high school. Obviously, I had the tools to be a hitter, right? I never had that mentor. I never had the coach that knew how to properly teach it. Uh -huh. That was the problem. I never had that mentor, right? And now in the day and age of social media and how everything is online, now people have access to mentors exactly. such as me and yourself to be able to help them, right? So I just want to talk about the importance of having that coach and having that mentor that's already been there, that's played at that level. That way you can speed up their process and so they don't make the same mistakes that you might have made to get to that level. Exactly. So for me personally, you know, I'm biased, of course, you know, I play at the highest level and, and all that. Now I get it. And this is not knocking hitting coaches across the board. Uh, you know, I really respect them for giving the time to the kids, which is outstanding. Um, but for me, you got to be really careful that, you know, whoever you have used or using, they have the credibility, but they also have the knowledge of how to teach your son or daughter, you know, to play against the elite players like the elite pitching or, you know, playing infield against elite hitters that hit the ball hard, stuff like that. That to me is what my passion is, is I'm, you know, having a mentor that can teach my son or daughter the correct way to do things. That's going to not only 
make them look good in the cage, but also is going to make them a better player in the game. And that's my passion. I want them all to do well in the game. So, yes, to have a mentor is is huge. And now with virtual training online, it's easy. You can just do it from home. And I said this yesterday. We were talking about it, Trey and I. You know, one of the things that stands out of, to me with the virtual training now is now parents don't have to, like, spend the gas money. I know gas prices are high right now. Spend the gas money and drive across town, getting your son or daughter to lessons. Um, and also it builds the relationship with the parent and the, and the kid. I mean, I remember my dad, when I was in high school, the parent child relationship, we went to the field every single day. My dad did not play professional baseball. He played just high school baseball because he got drafted in the army and had to go in the army. He, but he went to the field with me every day. That I mean, literally I almost cried when I got called up to the big leagues because all I thought about was the times that my dad and I sent, spent on the field together. Like, I was like, oh, my gosh, man. My dad just as much needs to be here with me as I am because he was a big part of it. So for a child and parent to have that bond, you can do that now with virtual training. And it means the world to me to see a dad working with his kid in a cage or a mom or even a brother or sister working with their younger kid, younger sibling in the – in the cage. I mean, God, that guy does wonders for that kid, you know, down the road. They will never forget that. Yep. So obviously I, I drove all the way here to Alabama from Florida. Yep. And <laughs> so now people don't know why we actually did this. Um, so a lot of you have gone through the All-American 30-day program, right? Seen really good results. Uh, we've been able to work with over 30,000 players inside the All-American program. And one day I'm talking to Wes, we're in Arizona and we're in the hotel. And I looked at Wes. Obviously, he played 12 years in the majors. And I said, Wes, I want you to go through the All-American 30-day program, and I want you to tell me, like, be honest with me, is it good? Is it the best program that we could possibly put out there for our players uh, to get better? And Wes looked at me, and he said, you know, to be honest with you, he said, I think we're kind of lacking on the lower half part of the program because kids are getting confused with some of the drills, like the way ships in the pipe drill. And Wes said, you know, I, I think with some of the drills that I did as a player and that I do with all of my players now, I think if we incorporated those new drills for the lower half, it's going to teach that a lot better. And it's going to be a lot easier for the player to understand. So right then I looked at Wes, I said, well, for one, why didn't you tell me that the program wasn't optimized to be able to get the best results and be clear? Well, you I didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah, you don't want to hurt my feelings. Um so I looked at Wes, I said, hey, when we get back from Arizona, because we're at spring training, when we get back from Arizona, I'm coming to Alabama, we're refilming the All-American 30-day program. So that's exactly what we did. So the last two days, me and Wes have been in this cage doing the new drills, and Brian's been behind the scenes editing the videos, and we will be releasing a new All-American program, updated drills, and it's going to be a lot better, a lot easier for you as a player to understand, Okay. So, um, Wes, do you want to add anything about the, the new program? And the so, basically, uh, honestly, it's not about hurting Trey's feelings. The program was great. I just know the lower half. I was like, Trey, we, the problems we're seeing across the board, we have got to teach these kids the lower half. I mean, the importance of how to use the lower half. So, the new program, you know, isn't much different when it comes to the stay inside the ball, the – you know, the the knob, the elbow and the knob to the pitch or stuff like that that's in the first program. The second program, this new one, is basically how the lower half works and their drills that teach every kid how to use the lower half and how to, um, you know, maximize their power through the lower half. Yep. And the good thing is, is, okay, you're watching this, you're like, well, I already bought the All-American 30-Day program, right? Well, if you've already bought the program, you're getting this new one for free. OK, we want to make sure that you have access to the new program that that way you can go through it and start seeing the results. OK, that way you can better understand how to properly use that lower half, get the proper mechanics of staying inside the ball and be able to drive it with power to all parts of the field. So obviously we've been going for about an hour now. So you understand you have to stay inside the ball in order to be a complete hitter. OK, you understand that you have to have a plan, a game plan the moment you step into the cage. And once you get into the cage, you have to have the right coach and the right mentor in order for you to see the video to make sure you're doing the drills correctly. That way you can start seeing that progression a lot faster, okay? So what I want to do now is, obviously, if you've already had the All-American 30-Day program before, 
you get the new program for free. We're going to be updating it this week, okay? But for those of you that might not have gotten access to it yet, and you're um, instead of you trying to teach your player or yourself how to stay inside the ball, you want us to teach you, you want us to do it for you, I want to show you this offer that we put together, this package, uh, to help you become a better hitter. That's going to teach you how to stay inside the ball, how to use your lower half properly, and how you can become an elite dominant hitter in just a quick, short amount of time, okay? So real quick, I want to come in here to the, the laptop. I'm going to share my screen. And we are going to go through this right here. Okay. So I'm sure a lot of you probably do feel like this right now, right? We just went over a bunch of information and we threw and spewed a bunch of stuff at you. And you might be a little bit overwhelmed, but don't worry about it, okay? A lot of people say that I talk fast whenever I get into my presentation. It's just because I'm passionate about this kind of stuff, okay? So what we put together is the All-American 30-Day Hitting Package, okay? It's called the All-American 30-Day Program because it's something that I did that helped me go from a 180 hitter to becoming that All-American, okay? It taught me those basic fundamentals to become a better player. So we put a package together for you, all right? So the first thing that you're going to get inside this new package is you're going to get three months free of the Camwood Elite, okay? You might be thinking, well, what is the Camwood Elite? The Camwood Elite, we brought in professional coaches. So it's MLB players on the baseball side. It's professional softball players on the softball side teaching you their exact position, okay? So we have Wes play 12 years as an infielder. We have Wes teaching infield. We have a 10-year MLB pitcher, Matt Greer, teaching pitching. We have strength programs, infield programs, mental mindset and confidence training, all the hitting programs, and you get access to reward points and much, much more, okay? So you get three months of the Camwood Elite for free, all right? And inside the Camwood Elite, you get reward points every single month that you stay a member of the Camwood Elite. So being that we're giving you three months for free, you get three months worth of reward points, okay? So that's 11,250 reward points that you can go to the Camwood website and use and redeem to get free product, okay? And just for instance here, every four months that you stay a member of the Camwood Elite, you can unlock a MLB-grade custom game bat for free on our website, okay? So you're getting three months. So if you just stay that fourth month, you're getting a free MLB-grade bat as well, okay? So you take those reward points just like Starbucks. Take those reward points, redeem them on the site. You can get free product, okay? So the first thing that you're going to get access to, three months of the Camwood Elite for free, okay? So the second thing that you're going to get, you're going to get access to the All-American 30-Day Program for life, okay? You're always going to have access to this. This 30-Day Program is going to it's broken down into four weeks. We teach the hands, and then we teach you how to properly use your lower half. We put it all together in a full swing, and then we're going to teach you that bat speed and that power, okay? How to quickly increase your ball exit speed, because as you know, that's what a lot of people worry about these days is the ball exit speeds and the ball off the bat. So we're going to teach you exactly how to increase that. All right. So real quick, what I want to do is I want to take you inside the All-American 30-Day Program. So once you get access here, you're going to be able to scroll through and start seeing all these different programs, right? So you'd be able to come here to the hitting side of the Baseball Elite. You'll see all the different hitting programs. You'll be able to come right here to the All-American Program Part 1. All right. So you see that this is set up in a daily plan. OK, so it's day one, day two, day three. We have it broken down for 30 straight days. All right. So it's very simple for you to log into day number one. Right here, we click on day one. You see we have the drills right there for you to do. So we have the explanation of the drill, how to do it. And then we give you the workout and the plan for that day. OK, we have a youth side and we have an adult side. All right, if you're 12 years old and under, you do the youth. If you're 13 and older, you do the adult side, okay? And the big difference between the two is the amount of reps and the amount of swings that you take. All right, it's the same drills. It's just a different amount of swings, okay? And then you scroll down below, you see more videos of the common mistakes while doing the drill. So not only are we teaching the player, but as the parent, we want to teach the parent how to critique and how to see uh, if their player is doing the drill correctly or not. OK, because you can make quick adjustments as you're working with your child uh, while doing this. All right. So you can see right there how easy it is to get that daily plan. Like I said, instead of you creating the plan, 
We created it for you. Okay. We've done this with over 30,000 players now. We know the structure and the process that players need to make to see those results. Okay. So things that you're going to be able to get rid of whenever you get the All-American 30-day program, you're going to be able to get rid of that expensive hitting coach that you're probably paying, and you're probably driving an hour or two hours to that hitting lesson, all right, once or twice a week. So you're going to be able to save all that because there's really going to be no need because we're going to teach you the proper mechanics, all right? Those expensive cage fees and any other training aid that you might have. You might have uh, seen a bunch of ads online and bought a bunch of different training aids to try to fix a problem that you might have and before you know it, you're just creating bad habits and the training aid didn't work the way that you thought it was going to, right? So you'll be able to completely get rid of all the other training aids that you have. So we have a testimonial here from one of the players that went through. It was a parent whose sons, both of them went through the program. And this parent texted me this right here and said, um, I wish I had started my 13-year-old off on this when he was six, I have spent thousands of dollars on private lessons, well over 20,000 over the years for travel ball and coaching since he was eight years old. I feel that they learned more and gained more in the past 30 days for less than $500. So that's the power of this program is we're going to teach you the proper mechanics and the proper way to stay inside the ball. Therefore, you can drive it to all parts of the field, okay? So we're gonna teach you how to be a hitter, all right? And as you see here, uh, we had 21,000 members a part of this program as of when I took this screenshot, which was a while back. We've actually done over 30,000 at this point. Um, so you see that if it worked for over 20 to 30,000 players, don't you think that this program is going to work for you as well? And it's because of how simple and how easy it is for you to follow. All right. So here's another testimony of a 14-year-old who went from a 73 mile per hour exit velocity to 96 in just three months. Okay, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that you're going to increase 23 miles an hour in just three months while following this plan. Um, but I am gonna tell you, if you stick to it, you too will see the results, all right? On average, for someone that joins the 30 All-American program, they see an 8.8 .8 mile per hour gain in their exit velocity in those 30 days. All right, we did a study, we took the average, and it came out to 8.8 .8 mile per hour gain in just 30 days. I hope you understand how crazy that is. It sound, it doesn't sound real, but trust me, it is. So then people always ask, well, is this for softball players as well? Yes. So this program, not only is for baseball players, but it's for softball as well, because I'm a firm believer, and so are a bunch of other uh, people out there, the softball swing is no different than the baseball swing, okay? So you still have to understand how to stay inside the ball, whether you're a baseball or a softball player. So we had a parent that did the softball version of the program, and they said they went from a 58 to 62 mile power exit velocity off the tee to a consistent 70 to 77 miles an hour. Amazing results, but you have to stick with the program. It works. I was skeptical at first, but now I am a believer, and I mean, wow. See, that's an awesome testimonial right there, and that just shows with the simple plan to follow, you too can get those results pretty easily, Okay. So who is this program for? It's for T-ball players, peewee players, youth players, high school players, college players. Literally any player that plays baseball or softball, this program will help you, okay? If your son's four, I do not recommend you doing the program with a four-year-old, okay? That's where you just want to have the fun in the game. But we worked anywhere from six years old all the way up to professional level, all right? So again, what you're going to get, you're going to get access to three months of the Camwood Elite membership for free. And you're going to get the Canada All-American 30-Day Program for life. Total value of $2,297. All right. So now that you have the programs, the next thing that you need is your Canwood Hand and Speed Trainer, right? But Trey, what if I already have a Canwood Hand and Speed Trainer? Well, it's actually pretty simple. You can just get the next size up, okay? If you're swinging a 29-inch right now, go ahead and get that 30-inch, okay? Whenever you move up to that 30-inch bat, you go ahead and start training with it now, it's going to make that game bat feel a lot lighter, and it's going to make your transition to that next size game bat a lot easier, okay? So if you already have a Camwood, just go ahead and get that next size up, all right? So what size Camwood should I use as a player? We always say that, um, that you should use the same length as your game bat, okay? If you swing a 33-inch game bat, get the 33-inch trainer. 
But if you're on the edge, like you're about to move up to that next size, go ahead and get that next size, okay? Because it's going to make the transition of that next size game bat a lot easier on you, okay? So I know a lot of players struggle whenever they go from the drop 10 to the BB core bats. Well, this bat right here in this program is going to help that transition drastically, okay? I wish I had this when I made that move because whenever I went to the drop threes is when – my confidence and my ability to hit a baseball just crashed and tanked, okay? So getting this bat is going to help you with that transition to that next size, all right? So here's a testimonial, and uh, we're just going to go through the, uh, the main points of it. And he said that I've never seen a product get results like this one. It eliminates bad habits in a way that I can't as their coach. They instantly see the results, and I've watched their confidence skyrocket as well. How awesome is that? As you know, confidence is one of the main key factors of becoming a good hitter because you have to be able to say in that box that you are better than that pitcher, okay, and that you are going to have success. You have negative doubts at all in that box, you're not going to get good results, okay? So here's what you're going to get inside this package. You're going to get three months of the Camwood Elite membership for free. You're going to get access to the All-American 30-day program. You're going to get a Camwood Hands and Speed Trainer. A total value of $2,397. All right. So now that you have that, the next thing that you need is the one-hand trainer, okay? Because I think it is pivotal for you to have a one-hand trainer inside of your regimen because it's going to teach you the proper mechanics and the proper bat path of how to stay inside the ball, okay? So one of the main things that three-time silver slugger Nelson Cruz does when he gets in the cage before practice and before games is the one-hand drill, Okay. And Wes can attest to this. A lot of MLB players use a one-hand trainer because it isolates their lead arm to be able to teach that proper bat path and that proper first move of getting, of getting connected and staying inside the ball, okay? So every single day inside this 30-day program, we are starting our routine with the one-hand drill because it's going to teach you those proper mechanics. So again, here's what you're going to get. You're going to get access to three months of the Camden Elite membership for free. You're going to get the All-American 30-day program. You're going to get access to your uh, Camwood Hand and Speed Trainer, and you're going to get a one-hand trainer. Total value of $2,452. Okay, now that you have all that, well, now what? Now what do you need to be successful? You need access to the Camwood coaches to make sure that you're getting or doing the drills correctly, right? So real quick inside the app, I want to show you. Whenever you get this package right here, you're going to be able to come to the community tab on the app, and it's going to unlock a community chat room, a private chat room just for the All-American members and the elite members, okay? So if we're doing the All-American program, you see we have this chat room right here, the All-American program chat. I'm able to click on that. I'm able to go to the baseball or softball, depending on what your player is. Say I'm baseball, I'll click on that. I'm able to come in here and ask questions to the Camwood staff directly, okay? So you upload a video of, of you doing the drills. You upload a video of one of your at-bats. You have the Camwood coaches coming in and critiquing your swing and answering any questions that you have, okay, to make sure that you get the best results possible, all right? And this app or this community chat room, because you're a member of the All-American, this is private for you only, okay? Not everybody has access to this. It's just because you're getting at this package and having access to the All-American that's giving you access to this chat room, okay? So it's a private setting. It's an intimate setting to make sure that you can ask questions to us as a staff. That way you can get the best results possible, okay? So this testimonial right here, I'm not gonna play the video because it's not gonna put the audio through, but this is probably by far the best testimonial that I've gotten since I've owned Camwood Bats. And this right here is a mom. She, um, she absolutely had no idea about baseball, didn't know how to teach a swing or anything. And she just wanted her son to get the best results, right? So she bought the program for her son so he can easily follow the, pl the plan and get access to us as coaches to ask questions because she didn't understand it, right? So after 30 days of doing the program, submitting the videos to us as coaches to make sure we can critique and make sure he's doing the drills right, he goes out to the field. And this is a player that struggled hitting the ball at the infield. And after just 30 days, he hit 15 home runs in practice that day. He went from struggling at the ball of the infield to hitting 15 home runs in just 30 days. It's because he learned the proper mechanics of how to stay inside the ball 
which is what this program teaches, okay? So again, here's what you're gonna get inside of this. You're gonna get access uh, to three months of the Camden Elite membership for free. You're gonna get the All-American 30-day program. You're gonna get the hand and speed trainer, the one-hand trainer, and access to the Camwood coaches to make sure you're getting the results in these 30 days. So now that you have all that, the next thing you need is bat speed, okay? So you're also going to get access to the bat speed challenge, okay? And as you know, everybody's fixated on bat speed right now. So this is a 10-day plan that's going to teach you how to increase your ball exit speed at least three miles an hour in 10 days. I mean, it's going to be quick, okay? And it's with a simple and easy drill that you can follow just from home. As you can see, Cam here, following this plan, went from a 52 mile per hour exit velocity to 71 in just four months, okay? So you can see how powerful this plan is. So again, inside this package, you're gonna access the three months of the Camden Elite membership for free. You're gonna get the All-American 30-day program. You're gonna get the hand and speed trainer, the one-hand trainer, access to the coaches and the 10-day bass speed challenge, a total value of $3,646. If all this program did, was increase your ball exit speed five miles an hour in 30 days. Would it be worth it? Extra five miles an hour, that's 30 feet on a, on a, um, a ball in the outfield, right? That's the difference between a single and a double and a double and a home run, okay? So if all this did was finally fix your mechanics and allow you to barrel the ball up more consistently, would it be worth it? And if it exponentially increased your, your child's confidence at the plate, would it be worth it, right? Everyone always says you have to be confident. And the moment that your confidence comes in, if you're confident at the plate, you're going to see results, okay? So what would this package mean to you if it helped you learn how to stay inside the ball and become a better hitter? Well, I'll go ahead and tell you the story right now. For me, I was able to learn how to stay inside the ball and become a better hitter. It allowed me to get a Division I scholarship, right? I had a scholarship my um, sophomore, junior, and senior year of college for free, okay? So whenever you say, is it worth it for me to spend $3,600 on a program that could get me a full-ride scholarship in baseball? Yes, that was 100% worth it to me. But what, or how much would it be worth to you though? Would it take you from hitting nine hole to being the, the best hitter on your team, hitting the three spot or the two spot? Would it mean being a bitch player finally getting into that starting lineup, right? Everyone has different journeys, but whatever journey that you're in right now, I promise that this plan, this package will help you get to where you want to go, all right? So I had two choices when making this program. I could go as cheap as possible and just flood everybody in, right? But if we had a ton of people in, it really doesn't incentivize me to stack the value on, right? So, or I could go to the second option which requires a little bit of higher of investment, but in exchange, I can devote more resources and guarantee your success. Which option would you rather me go? And because I want you to gain 10 miles an hour in ball to speed in just 30 days, I want you to become a better hitter. I want to teach you how to take that outside pitch and drive it to the opposite field gap with power. You can get access to all of this today <laughs> for just $297. So I, I hope you understand how insane and how much value there is right there in just a $297 package. And I promise we are going to raise the price of this up to $497 here soon. The reason we're doing $297 today is because it's the initial offer and we want to get people into the system, start seeing those results right now. Okay. So trust me, this $297 price point will not last long. All right. So all you have to do to get started is – uh, go to cw.camwoodbass.com. So let me ask you a question. Which is a better investment? You going and paying $500 for an aluminum bat? Or are you investing $297 today in this that's actually going to teach you the proper mechanics and how to use that bat? I promise. If I worked with a, a full team of hitters and we went up, we used all wood bats and we went up against a team that can use all aluminum my team is going to probably run rule the team with the aluminum bats because I'm going to teach my players how to hit. I'm going to teach them the right and the proper way to hit, and we're going to run rule that team with aluminum bats because they might have terrible swings, right? So you can see how this is just a much better investment now than getting that $500 aluminum bat that's not going to teach you anything about the swing. And just to put this into perspective, 
if I were to do lessons with you in person, I would charge $200 an hour. Okay, so if we did this 30-day plan, you're looking at $4,400 in those 30 days. And I promise I will be doing the exact same structure and drills that this 30-day program is right now. I would literally open up the app and you say you're on day two, I would click on day two and we would follow this exact plan. Okay, so you can see how valuable this is. So now you have two choices. You can either do nothing just know that when you do nothing, nothing's going to change. There's not going to be any progress made, okay? Or you can take that second option. You can go all in with this All-American 30-Day program, and you can get the results that you're looking for and that you deserve as well, all right? And if I can't get you the results, I don't deserve your money, okay? So we have a 30-day guarantee. If you get this package and you don't see the results in those 30 days that we're promising, I will send you a full refund and you can keep the bats. That's how confident that I am that this plan and this program will work for you if you do it and if you use the app properly and get the coaching from us to make sure you're doing the drills correctly. If you follow this plan, I promise you're going to see the results. If you don't, I'll give you your money back and you can keep them. You can see here everything that you're going to get. You're going to get access three months of the Camwood Elite Membership. You're going to get the All-American 30-Day Program, the Camwood Hands and Speed Trainer, the One Hand Trainer, the Camwood Coaching, and the 10-Day Bat Speed Challenge, all for just $297 today, okay? And this plan or this um, offer and this deal, this package, is only going to be available until Sunday at midnight, all right? So you can only get it over these next four days. After Sunday, it's going to be gone, all right? So... Again, all you have to do is go to cw.camwoodbats.com. Whenever the page loads, you're just going to select whether you're baseball or softball, and you can order straight from there, okay? So now we are going to open it up for Q&A. So what size Camwood bat should I buy? Like I said before, we want to use the same length as our game bat. You swing a 30-inch game bat, get a 30-inch Camwood, all right? Can I do this program from home? Yes, that's the beauty of this program. It can easily be done from home. All you need is a T, okay? Is the bat too heavy for my child? No, it is not. The way the bat is designed, the weight is added right here above the hands, okay? So it's going to balance the bat out. It's going to feel just slightly heavier than your normal game bat. You're easily going to be able to get this around, all right? As you know, the average MLB bat weight is 32 ounces, I have a 12-year-old swinging a 36-ounce Camwood trainer with absolutely no issues, okay? So, no, this bat is not too heavy. So, whenever you buy this package today, when will the bats be delivered? So, these bats are already in stock. They're going to ship. They usually ship in one to two business days. So, you will be getting these bats uh, probably in the middle of next week, depending on where you live, okay? And the programs... You're going to get access to the uh, to the app and to the Elite subscription the moment that you press purchase, okay? All right, I'm a parent with no knowledge of baseball or softball. Will this help me? Yes, us giving you access to the coaches is the most valuable piece in this entire equation, okay? So if you have absolutely no knowledge of hitting, all you have to do is just take a video of two to three swings, upload it to the app, and you have professional coaches critiquing your swing, making sure you're doing the drills correctly, okay? It's very simple and very easy for you to follow. All right. Are there rest days inside the program? Yes, the program is a five days on, two days off uh, structure. And you don't have to stay on that five days on, two days off, okay? You can work it around your schedule, but you want to do this consistently. I would say at a bare minimum, absolute bare minimum is four times a week. What age should my child start the program? Um, obviously, that's a, a tricky question. Uh, we work with players from six years old all the way up to the pros. But I would also say it kind of depends on uh, the maturity level. But, um, you know, like my son is four, about to be five. I'm not doing the program with him right now, right? I'm just letting him hit. He's having fun, okay? So can this program be done during season? Um, yes, it can. But you want to watch out for um, fatigue. You don't want to swing too much, okay? Because if you're taking your 100 to 150 swings in the program and then you go play a game, you might be tired, right? 
So you want to make sure that you're not getting over fatigued and over swinging. But yes, you can do these drills during the season because it's just teaching you the proper mechanics of how to stay inside the ball. So it's only going to help. Is this for softball players as well? Yes, it is for softball players. Um, I always say that a baseball swing and a softball swing are the same thing, okay? It doesn't matter if you play baseball or softball, you want to stay inside. And will this work for me? Yes, I promise it will work for you, okay? If you get these bats and you just try to do this on your own, you might not see that max results that you want and that you're looking for, right? You want to see, uh, you want to get this easy plan to follow, and once you follow that easy plan, you're going to see the results if you stick to it, okay? And if you access the app to where you're getting the community chat rooms and you're talking to Wes and I and the other Camwood coaches that we have to make sure you're getting those results and you're doing the drills correctly, that's how you're going to see the maximum progress made, okay? So will this work for me? It depends on if you're committed to it or not. You have to follow the plan and you have to interact with the coaches to make sure you're doing the drills correctly. Okay, so what if I already have a Camwood bat? Like I said, just go ahead and get that next size up. You're, uh, if you have a 29 inch right now, go ahead and get that 30 inch, okay? Very simple. What if I don't have a cage to hit at? That's the best thing about this program is we structured it to where you don't have to be in a cage. You can easily just have a pop-up net and hit into the net. And I've actually seen players just do it with wiffle balls. They'll go in their backyard They'll put the wiffle ball on the tee, and they'll just hit in their backyard, okay? If you're dedicated enough and you're committed to getting better, you will find a way to make it happen, all right? So what if I have a question about a drill mid-program? Like I said, you have access to the Camwood coaches. All you have to do is go into the app, go into the chat room, and post videos, post your questions right there. A member of the Camwood staff will come in and answer those questions for you, okay? And what happens after 30 days, okay? After you do the 30-day program, because you're buying this package, you will still have access to the 30-day program. It's not just gonna magically go away, okay? But the 30-day program, it teaches you the proper drills of staying inside the ball. So once you're done with the program, you have to continue to do the drills, okay? You can't just do the 30-day program and say, oh, okay, I got it, and stop. Because then you're gonna lose all those results, okay? We're giving you the blueprint on how to become a better hitter. We're giving you the drills. It's up to you to maintain those drills and consistently do them even after the program, okay? So in this program, do we hit off of a T or toss? So the All-American 30-day program is all T work, okay? Because we're going to try to teach you those mechanics off the T, make it easy for you, all right? So we don't want the ball moving whenever we're trying to teach you the proper mechanics of staying inside the ball. And then part two of the program which as a member of this package, you're a member of the elite, you do get access to All-American Part 2 program as well that teaches, okay, Part 1 is all tee work. Well, Part 2, we're going to teach you how to transition that swing from the tee to the moving ball, okay, to in-game speeds, all right? So All-American Program Part 1 is tee work. The Part 2 program is going to be more ball moving and front toss. Do we need baseballs or softballs to complete the program? You don't need a baseball or a softball. Like I said, I've had players use tennis balls. I've seen players do wiffle balls. I've seen players ball up socks and put it on a tee, okay? Like I said before, if you want to get better, you will find a way to do it. I had a player, he did the entire 30-day program in his living room, okay, in an apartment. He just put, he literally just put up a little net and he hit an orange soft ball into the net in literally his living room for 30 days. And guess what? He saw amazing results, okay? So if you're dedicated enough, you will find a way. All right, I have three kids that I want to buy for. Do I have to buy three packages? Um, well, it kind of depends on their age. If um, Obviously, if you buy this package for one kid, you're going to go ahead and get access to all the digital stuff but you may want to add in bats for your other children as well, okay? So you don't have to buy the programs in this package multiple times. You only have to buy the package once, but you want to buy a bat for the other kids, if that makes sense, okay? So 
say your youngest son swings a 29 inch bat, but your oldest daughter swings a 33 inch. You don't want your daughter swinging that same bat as your son. Okay. You want them to have a bat that matches their game bat length because that's going to maximize their results during this program. Okay. I hope that makes sense. So, do you offer team packages? Yes, we do have team packages on the website where um, if you buy those team packages, it does come with the program for free with it. Okay. And the team packages start at uh, four bats a piece. So, four trainers and four one handers. Uh, and it goes all the way up from there. So, yes, we do have team packages on our website. Does this program help with bat lag? I see that problem a lot with uh, youth players. Yes, it does help you with that because it teaches you the proper sequence of driving with your lower half first and then the hands follow, okay? Like I said, when you get that bat lag is when you start dumping that barrel. We're not doing that. All right, we're teaching you how to be direct and how to stay inside the ball properly. So, yes, this will help with that bat lag. And do we have support? Yes, we do have support. Uh, if you have any questions, all you have to do is text our support line or you can email us at support at camwoodbats.com. Okay? Very simple. So if you have any questions, feel free to hit the support line as we go. So do you offer a money-back guarantee? Yes, we do have a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you do not see the results that we're promising, I will give you your money back and you can keep the bats, okay? that's I'm telling you, I am extremely confident that if you put in the effort, you follow the simple plan that we're going to give you, and you take video of just two to three swings, upload it to the app to make sure you're doing the drills properly, you will see the results all right so if you have a question still feel free to text us <clears throat> sorry my voice is going out i was talking too loud and too fast there so real quick here's what you're going to get inside this package three months of the camera elite membership for free you're gonna get the all-american 30-day program a hands and speed trainer a one-hand trainer access to the camera coaches and the 10-day bat speed challenge a total value of $3,646 for just $297 today. All right. If you're ready to get started, go to cw.camwoodbats.com, select the proper package for you, and we will see you inside. All right.